Hi, I'm Luana Mitten and I'm a publisher and I'm going to talk to you today about what a, does a publisher do. So I, my job really is to take this, which is a manuscript that an, a writer wrote and I help them make it into a book like this. And this is Cinder Yeti, and you're going to hear from the author of this book, Precious Mackenzie, as well. And this is her book, Cinder Yeti. And that's what my job is, is I get to help authors. They come to me and they send me their manuscripts. And I get to read lots and lots of manuscripts. And then I get to choose which ones I think I'm, are going to be good. And so I think about what would kids like? What do they like to do? How are they, you know, what are, what, what do they like to read? What's interesting to them? But then I also have to think about things like, well, are there a lot of books about that already? Is this a story that everybody has already heard a whole bunch of times? Um, how much is it going to cost for me to make the book? Because it costs money to make the book. And I have to pay designers and illustrators and the writer gets paid and I have to pay to get the books printed. So there's lots of costs that go into making a book. So I have to think about all of those things before I decide if I'm going to take a manuscript and make it into a book like this. So I work on all kinds of books. So I don't just work on picture books. Um, I work on nonfiction books as well. This one's called Coral Reefs and it's illustrated it has all photos in it. And so some of our books are do that, do that, and it has lots of facts and information in it. It's a really fun book. And then I also do chapter books, which you guys are starting to get into since you're in second grade. And these are, this is a series by um, a young author, Sarah Frank. And she is older than you, but not that much older than you. She's just in high school. And this is the first book, One Chance, and the second book, Two Secrets. So I do lots of different kinds of books. So what do I do with them to get them into the book, though? So when the author sends me a manuscript and we decide we're going to make that book together, I do what's called editing the manuscript. And I bet you've heard that word before in your writing. So what we do, it's not all about capital letters and periods and um, question marks and punctuation and spelling and grammar. The first stage we do in editing is what's called content and developmental editing. And that's where... I get to really read the story or I get to really read the informational book and I get to think, hmm, is this working? Is there things that might be confusing to the reader? Um, do they need more information? Is that character, does that make sense for that character? And I get to read and then what I do is I write notes and I write notes on the manuscript to the writer and then I send it back to the writer and the writer reads my notes and we talk about it we work together on it and then we they do revisions so they take their script their manuscript that they've already written and based on what I talk to them about they make some changes and sometimes they change things like I suggested and sometimes they come up with something else and that's great because it's their book. So then we work together on that and then after the manuscript is all done and we've gone back and forth and done a lot of things with it, it doesn't just take one time. Sometimes when I see manuscripts, I don't know, four or five, maybe even more times before they go before they're all ready. And when we finish all of that part and deciding that the story is great or the information is great in the book, then that's when we do what's called, when we do the editing that is for the periods and the, the question marks and the capital letters and grammar and spelling. We do that then. 
And then when that's all done and we feel like that's all gone done and I send it back to the writer and they check on things and then we just agree again, then is when we send it to the proofreader. And what the proofreader does is they just check and make sure we got everything right. So sometimes they'll find a word that we had misspelled or they'll find, they'll read something and um, maybe we said, maybe the author said that the um, a character's hair color was red, but then later on they described the character with brown hair color. And maybe I didn't catch that along the way, but the proofreader did. So that's something really easy to fix. So they help us, they check all those little details to just make sure it's perfect. But the book still isn't done. It doesn't have a cover. It doesn't have pictures. It doesn't have any of the fun, all that stuff too. So what we do next is then we work with either an illustrator, like the Cinder Yeti is all done by an illustrator, or I work with a designer who does the interior of the book and the designer comes up with the designs of the book and how they choose the pictures that go in the book. And then we work together to make sure that the, the text is right and it matches the picture and it's the right thing. Sometimes you'll think a picture is the right thing and then you'll realize oh, that's not really that. So we have to be really careful and make sure we're checking our facts and we check all of our facts very carefully. And I know that's something that you guys are learning to do in school too. So we do all of that. And then the designer and I, or the illustrator and I, and the author, we all look at things along the way. And what the, they send to us is they send proofs along the way. And we'll talk about it and we'll say, is that working? Does that need to be fixed? Does it need to be changed? So we're always working together. I don't do it all by myself. Nobody does. We all work together. Once we've all done all of that and the book looks great, then it's time for us to send it to the printer. But all of this is done on the computer. We don't hand paper back and forth. We hand files back and forth over the internet. It's all done on the computer. And then we send a file to the printer. And the printer is the one who prints the books for us. So they take our file and then they look at it and they print it up for us and then they send us our books. Now I'll tell you something really funny is that when those books come, I'll take a look at them and I'll make sure the cover looks good and I'll flip through the pages. But you know what? I don't ever read the books again if I can help it because every time I read a book, I'll think, oh, I wish we would have done that or, oh, we could have done that better. So once they're done, I pretty much don't read them again, unless I'm going to do a read aloud to kids or things like that. Then I'll read them. But I try not to read them very much because then I get frustrated and I think I did things wrong. And because no matter how good you make something, you can always find a way to make it better. So we always have to kind of stop and say, this is good enough. This is great where it's at and I can't make any changes. Now I meant to tell you this in the beginning because you're thinking, oh wow, she works with books all the time and writing all the time. I bet she loved to read and write when she was a kid. But you know what? I didn't. I wasn't a big reader. I could read okay, but it wasn't my favorite thing. And back when I was a little girl, we didn't get to read cool books. Pretty much we ran out of what was called a reader and <clears throat> they weren't fun stories. They were see Dick run and see Jane chase the dog and they weren't very fun stories. And we always had to do tests after the stories. And finally, when I was in fourth grade, I fell in love with this book and its name was The Adventures of Cuddles and Chuckles. And I can still remember that book to this day. I can still see the picture on the front. I loved that book. It was about two little sugar gliders and their adventures in the, in the jungle. And I loved that book. And I read it lots and lots and lots of times. But 
I didn't when but when I got done with it and after reading it I had to take a test on it and you know what I didn't do very good on the test because what they asked on the test wasn't what I loved about the book I didn't care that somebody wore a blue shirt in the book it didn't matter to me that had didn't matter to me so then that kind of made me not want to read so much anymore so then and I wasn't a writer either because I did not like grammar we talked we did a lot of grammar and you guys don't have to do like sentence diagramming you'll have to ask your teacher to show you that someday that's not fun and I did not like it so I didn't think well I can't be a writer I don't like English I don't like English language arts but then when I got in high school I still didn't really like it but I got to be the editor of our high school newspaper my senior year and I really liked that it's so fun to put things together and make them work and make them into something that somebody else can read and use so I liked it but I still didn't think I wanted to be an, uh, an editor or a writer or anything to do with publishing then I went to school and I became a teacher and I loved teaching I actually taught with one of your teachers and I loved it. I, we had a great time. And then I learned about being a reader and a writer when I was a teacher. And that's when I really fell in love with books. I loved reading picture books to my kids and chapter books to my kids. And I learned to write because I wanted to teach my kids to write. And so it wasn't until I was an adult and a teacher before I learned to really love reading and writing. And so now that's what I do for my job and I love it. And one of the most important things for me to do in my job is to make books that you want to read, that you're going to love because books are so important for us. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you're having a good day and I know it's a crazy learning time for you right now. So just make the most of it. Read a good book, draw a picture, write a story, do something you really want to do. Bye.